What's up, everybody? Thank you all for coming to check out our vlog of us converting our shuttle bus into a party bus. As you can see, it was a hot mess when we first got it. Well, not really a hot mess, but more or less, we just had to do a little bit of work to it. The outside was more of an issue than the inside was, but sit back and just check out the vlog. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Day one of the party bus conversion was operation getting that damn handicap ramp out and just overall getting all the seats out and just gutting it out and but i was having a little bit of trouble so i had to call in some reinforcement called on my little cousin he came right over and we got it out in no time all right time to get busy got the party bus back framing the frame out begins now i'm um, go definitely run some this is so that way I can make bench seating, but that right there will be the seat backs. This right here will be the actual bench. And I'll get back to y'all soon. Go run the uh, wall back here, under here. Frame it out with some black, uh, I want to say vinyl, I believe, or uh, leather. And then uh, you're going to put a TV back here, either anywhere between 40 and 50. I haven't quite got to what I'm going to decide on for that and uh come on this side and frame this side out and there you have it positive vibes party bus coming soon all right as you can see here i have framed it out and i started to build the seats but then i realized once i actually sat on it me and my wife sat on it, we were like this shit is sitting up too high so i had to go back take everything back apart and basically reframe and rebuild the seating. It was just one of many things that I had to redo, but this just goes to show you that, you know, we're all human and when you're trying to do a DIY project and you're trying to get things off the ground, sometimes you have to do things like this. So after taking everything back down, remeasuring and getting the correct heights, this was the uh, finished product. I got um, all the cup holders cut out and. Everything is just measured right. The height is right and everything. So this is what we got here. Moving on to the next step. Okay, right now we have everything dry set. Got the, um, working on the back area where the bench seating is gonna go. Uh, we got the champagne wheels right there, the two cup holders. Um, while the bench seating is dry set in with the seat backs, I don't know how they're gonna go. I'm gonna run some LED lights through there. You should be able to see it once it glows up. And then, of course, we have the TVs and stuff that are gonna go up. We got a TV that's gonna go up here in the front. 32 inch, I believe, for that one. And then on the back, we're gonna do like a 40 inch. Seems like it'd be probably a good size to do. Of course, we have the uh, cooler area, AKA the bar area, um, more cup holders on the uh, driver's side. And yeah, on to the next step. Today we indoors with it because it's a little rainy. Figured I'll still continue the process on the party bus. Positive vibes, where the vibe is always right, you feel me? Today we working on uh, a poster in the seats. Got some diamond pleated cushion here four inch uh, cushion on this just osb only nothing fancy to keep it real for real you just need some osb which is like the cheapest you can get right now as far as uh, lumber goes because uh, of the covid stuff or whatever but yeah that's what we doing today some seat backs and we gonna do the seat cushions today and get as many as we can get done today and uh see how they feel on the bus i'll check back with y'all pretty soon Getting there, still gotta cover this up. That's for the cup holders right there. I worked on some more of the bench seating today. Cup holders right there. It's another ankle seat. Just trying to maximize the area as much as possible. The champagne wheel, I gotta recut that. Something a little bit off or whatever, but. It's getting there, G. Positive Vibes Party Bus, where the vibe is always right. The 
Positive Vibes Party Bus coming along. Got the lights ran. Got the back wall wrapped. Got the in-between the walls wrapped. Had to do that because of the construction on the outside. Uh, had to take the corners back out, seating back out, so I could run the lighting in here. But this is the gist of the lighting. Still got to put wrap that. Do the lighting on that. Got the cooler area all done. Good to go. Still going to run some lights in there. Other than that, just got to wrap these pieces up here. Um, put the dome lights in and we on our way. November, baby. Seats, wrap the seats and just waiting on some more cushion to come for those. But other than that, baby, positive vibes, party bus, where the vibe is already always right. Of course, the stereo is going to go back there in that corner. That's where the switch panel will go for the lights. Um, that's pretty much it, man. I've been busting my ass on this goddamn bus, so it's time to see what it can do for me I say of course we had to get the cooler area together aka the bar area let's go starting to look like a bus again starting to add the missing pieces Back to them seats. Uh, the rest of the cushion has arrived. And I think that's about it. I'll uh, do this right here. Get that pole together. Steel. That back there. Other than that, we'll be good. Positive vibes, party bus. Okay, so today I'm hooking up some electrical. This is my electrical panel for the lights inside of the bus. Now these two things right here, they all illuminate. And this panel illuminates on top of these lights, illuminates as well. But they stay on the entire time, even if the bus is off. So in order to um, not let these uh, run the battery down, I have to install a kill switch in between so that way I can just cut it on and cut it off like that. So I had to drill a, do a little bit of customizing and modifying to drill a hole inside of there and add this switch right here. So let's see how that works. I'll let y'all see some electrical in a little bit. All right, we got a nice snug fit in there, a little bit of modifying and got that kill switch in there. Again, this is to uh, stop the Illumination of the lights and stuff on the actual panel while the bus is not running, while any of this stuff is, isn't on. It's going to drain the battery eventually. But in order to stop that, you have to throw a kill switch in there. So basically, it'll kill all the lights if it's uh, switched off or anything that's running to here is going to kill it. So, it, which is cool. It's just when uh, customers are on there, just make sure that they. Uh, don't touch uh, that button or anything. It's going to be pitch black dark and it's going to be a blackout party. Okay, so I have it wired up now. So basically, uh, when it's wired to the uh, fuse block, uh, when it's on, there should be power to this whole entire thing. And then when it's off, it should kill all the power to it. So... Let's get ready to head to the bus. Oh, this is all scraps because for all the elect uh, electricians out there that fix your nodules, I am no professional. But I have done my research and it was already hooked up before, so I'm good. But I'm old school, so I use connectors like this, all the butt connectors and stuff that's fancy and that's good. But I like the electrical tape to seize it up myself i'm not about to keep doing heat seals and all that crazy mess i mean it's still it's still just as safe trust me these people they they get on here and act like they perfect when they do stuff but i'm just here to get things done and get it up and running and still be safe with it but there we go all right let's try this again um don't mind the wires everything is uh looks like a beautiful mess right now but once i get everything together then i'll neaten them up but 
Um, basically, I ran that uh, toggle kill switch to the uh, rocker panel so that way I can kill all the power to uh, the rocker panel whenever I need to. So that's that. And of course, everything is running back to the uh, fuse box right here. And then accessories in the uh, positive, of course, run into the rocker panel and the negative run into this bus bar right here because it's all negative running off the battery. That's a deep cycle uh, lithium ion battery. Hopefully, um, this one will power everything I need to power on top of the fact that there's another one on the bus already. Um, of course, I'm going to have to hook up amps and stuff like that for the music, but here goes nothing to see if uh, this uh, kill switch works. Hold tight. Um, Alright, looks like we might be in business here. Okay, so there's no power coming to anything right now. Um, this switch and this switch are the ones that are installed. Of course, this is the toggle switch. That's the kill switch. Um, so when I flip this switch, it should be power coming to it. And then I should be able to control everything. Let's see. Ha ha ha. And like magic. It works so now we got our usbs they are able to uh be connected to people so they can charge up we got the cigarette lighter of course and then let's see if the led lights come on boom it's on the floor that's it that's all i was trying to do kill that so that way it won't drain the battery got those lights so then i still got to use this one for my dome lights and ceiling lights and then this one to be for uh maybe exterior lights or it just might be an extra one but everything else is running to these gonna run to these three but boom all right we got power to the stereo now we just gotta hook up the um hook up the uh speakers and whatnot Finish mounting it, and we should be good to go. Stereo, control panel. Lights, lights. Let's get it cracking. Alright, we got all the LED lights ran, installed, the electrical panels installed, music is installed, the floor just recently had got laid and it's installed, so all we're doing right now is just dotting our I's and crossing our T's and uh, just getting ready for this launch party coming up very soon. <laughs> 